Hello, Pioneers. Welcome back to the SJ Network Sports News Update. I'm your host, Matthew Benderstad, bringing you all information about what's going on in the sports world here at St. John's. Start things off with the basketball team. On Friday, February 17th, the basketball team dominated the Colonials of Shrewsbury High School and came away with a 70-33 win. The top scores for the Pioneers were junior Noel Basco with 18 points, Francis McGonagall with 15 points, and senior George Iron with 13 points. The basketball team finished off the regular season with a 9-11 record and was ranked 28th in the state. The team starts off its playoff run with a matchup against Chelmsford. This game is in Coach's Pavilion on February 27th at 6.30 p.m. Congrats to everyone on the team for a hard fought season and wishing the best in playoffs. On over to the ice to see what the hockey team is up to. On Monday, February 20th, the hockey team lost to Franklin High School in a hard fought overtime game. Goals for the Pioneers came from Jack Burgard, Luke May, Sean Farrell, and Luke Girardi. Goalie Ryan Melanson had 30 saves in this game. The hockey team finished the season with a 9 10 and 1 record and was the ninth best team in the state. The team's first playoff game is on Thursday, March 2nd at 8 p.m. versus Winchester. This game is in the New England Sports Center. Congrats to the hockey team for a great season and wish them the best in playoffs. Over to the pool to see how the swimmers are doing in the playoffs. On Sunday, February 19th, in the Division I state meet, diver Joel Parker came in fourth overall place with the whole swim team tied for 28th place out of the 39 teams. Congrats to Joel and the swim team for their accomplishments in this meet. Over to the track to see what the runners are doing. On Saturday, February 17th, the track team competed in the meet of champions at Reggie Lewis Center. In this meet, Manny Mahoney ran a 6.68 in the 55-meter dash, coming in 7th place, while Antonio Riaffe came in 4th place in the high jump, and the 4x400-meter relay team came in 2nd place. Also, senior Andre Zafante ran the 600-meter in a time of 1 minute and 27 to claim the D1 state title. Then, on February 25th, the team had another meet at Reggie Lewis Center. In this meet, Antonio Riaffe came in 3rd place in the high jump, and the 4 by 200 meter relay came in ninth place. Congrats to the track team, and let's all wish them the best and lot of luck in the next couple meets that they have. On over to the match and see how the wrestlers are doing in the state playoffs. At the D1 state meet on February 18th, three pioneers were placed on the podium. CJ Ewing took second, Landon Gray finished fourth, and Navita Holly was fifth. Then on February 24th and 25th, CJ Ewing placed fourth for his weight class in the All State meet, while Landon Gray placed fifth in his weight class. Congrats to these three wrestlers for great performance at States. On over to the slopes to see what the ski team is up to. The team is getting ready for the State meet on February 28th. With a 45 0 record on the season, let's see what the seven skiers can do at States and try to bring home first place. That's all for this week, folks. Thank you for tuning in to the SJ Network Sports News Update. We will be back for more info and better content. To give all the authors good luck in all the games and meets this upcoming week. Thank you and goodbye for now.